We, as a family, the Kelly family, we are adamant about trying to be grateful about things, trying to always have a grateful heart. And we look at our kids, we want our kids to have a grateful heart too. Now, what does that mean? Whatever you have, however you're doing, you're grateful for it. You're grateful on some level. So I think about that with our kids. We think about it with our kids all the time. I mean, they're not rich, obviously, but they have a pantry full of food, Kraft mac and cheese, but still they've got a pantry full of food. No problem there. they got clothes on their back. Got a bunch of toys, thanks to the grandparents. But the, right? So how will a kid like that ever understand what other kids go through? How other kids around the world live? And so we had a church in our area. They did something that was really cool. They went out and built this display. What was the display? It, was, it took maybe half, half the size of a football field. But they took some of the poorest countries in the world, and they built exact replicas of how families, the poor families, live in those countries. I'm talking sheet metal huts, uh, uh, just a bucket is the child's only toy. You have the bed. Whose bed, you ask? Oh, that's the family bed. They all pile on the thing, and it ain't very big. You know, it, it's, they set this thing up so people could go walk through. And we drove our kids right down there and made them walk through. Look at this, look at that, playing in the dirt. Look where they sleep, look how they live. Now why? What's the point of that? Why do that to your kids? So they have some sort of perspective in real world, real, I mean, some way to relate to how people live in the real world. People live outside of their bubble, how other people live. You have to purposefully, purposefully seek out perspective. It doesn't just come to you. And that's why the Biden administration right now is so incredibly lost and seems so incredibly out of touch and almost cold to what's happening. I mean, you, you saw the news today. Produce, uh, uh, producer prices have rose 10%. That's the highest on record. That coincides with 7.9% inflation. These numbers for normal people, for most people, are staggering. People are already having to make adjustments. I've had people reach out to me several times that are saying, hey, Jesse, I'm on the cusp of having to quit my job because the added costs mean I can't actually, I'm losing money going to work. I'm crazy stories out there right now. Jesse, we had to cancel this. Jesse, we, we're going to have to move my mother out of the house. Jesse, I mean, insane stuff right now. Insane stuff. Well, the average gas price in this country right now is averaging over $4.31. It was just $4.17. It was $2.86 a year ago. People can't afford to live like this. They can't. And so when the Biden administration, when people like Jen Psaki speak like this, my jaw drops because I see her speak and I say to myself, what is wrong with you? Um, how high uh, is the administration expecting gas prices to go? I don't have a prediction from here in terms of what it could look like. In terms of how far, uh, we, you know, we still believe it will continue to go up, but we're trying to take steps we can take to mitigate that and reduce it. Go ahead. Does it seem like she cares? You see what I mean about cold? It, there's never a moment of warmth, not from Saki, not from, not from Biden, not, certainly not from Pelosi. Th there's never a moment. Everything is just cold. And matter of fact, oh, they're going to go up. We'll take some steps to mitigate it. It's as if they've never had a connection with the real world. They've never walked through that village. They've never talked to the truckers like this. I've never seen them. This is the worst. It's rough. It's real hard out here. I mean, the prices is, is this too much now? I spend like 500 a day and that's not a fuel, that's not a full tank. Eventually they're not gonna be able to make ends meet and they're gonna have to quit, and not be able to run and that'll cut us down and we're already low on truck drivers. It's definitely making everything go up, also making products cost more because it costs more for us to ship it. For a couple of months, that gas was two dollars a gallon. People was happy. Why that jump? That everything going up. It's just not the gas price. The cigarettes going up. The food going up. Everything going up. That's how real people live. But they don't seem to know, or they don't seem to care, or I mean, this is probably the worst thing. Or 
they get up and tell blatant lies about how they totally know what you're going through. Here's Scranton Joe telling whoppers again. I grew up in a family where when the price of gas went up at the pump, gas station, we talked about it at the kitchen table. That's a blatant lie. <laughs> no, he didn't. Again, that's not only a lie, it's an easily verifiable lie. During Joe Biden's time as a child, gas prices went from 20 cents a gallon to 31 cents a gallon, but the way inflation worked at the time means Joe Biden's family actually saw gas prices go down. You see what I mean? They're so out of touch with being able to connect with normal people, even their lies don't hold back, don't, don't hold water at all. And, in, and instead, instead we get blaming Putin, we get blaming you, we get people saying it's actually good, or we get them campaigning. The American people who are hurting right now, maybe having to work a second job, maybe, heard this one yesterday from a friend, it's kids going to work. Son's going to start working part-time after school to try to make ends meet. That's how real people are living. But the Joe Biden administration, they're so out of touch, they won't walk through that village. They're out there campaigning on the next big bill. Vision allowing for tax credit for homeowners to, to, uh, to winterize their homes and save an average of 500 bucks a month just by having doors that don't leak, windows that don't leak, and so on. So look, let me be clear. None of this will increase inflation. 17 Nobel Prize winners in, the, in economics wrote to me saying it would ease inflationary presence. No one believes that. And I mean, they really don't. 70% of Americans disprove of Biden's handling of inflation. 70% disprove of his handling of gas prices. 58% disapprove of the economic, economic recovery. They don't, they don't have any connection at all. So you get up behind the microphone and you blame Vladimir Putin, or you tell people the economy's doing good, you're just too stupid to understand it, or you tell people, well, if they would just pass my massive economic bill, then inflation would go down. How are they so cold? How are they so out of touch? They've never taken a walk through that village. And it's not difficult. Get out of your bubble, leave Washington, D.C., and go spend some time talking to normal people. Hey, thanks so much for watching the first on YouTube. If you liked what you saw, go ahead and like and subscribe. You heard me like it, subscribe. You'll get a lot more of it and a lot more of me.